Hello and welcome to this video, Do I Need TikTok for My Coaching Business? I'm marketing mentor Simon Batchelor and co-founder of Better, Bolder, Braver. We empower coaches to attract better clients, to build a bolder offer and be braver with their pricing, planning and purpose. In this video, we're going to find out all about what TikTok is, no matter if you're already using it, you've never heard of it, or you're just too embarrassed to ask your kids all about it. In this video, we're going to find out how you can use it for your coaching business. This video was presented live as one of our sessions within our community by our marketing intern and keen TikTok user, Philippa. So let's go over and join the presentation now. Hey everyone, um, my name's Philippa. I hope you can hear me okay. Um, I am working with Simon and Francis as an intern for their community of coaches um, and today I'm bringing you a presentation on what is TikTok so we'll be going through like the basics of it um, actually I'll show you here so we're going to look at what TikTok is how it's used um, the benefit to coaches um, ideas for your content um, inspiration that's already out there and I'm going to leave you with a question at the end that says, what coaching question could you ask your clients in a short video? Um, a little bit of background about me. I've had TikTok since lockdown and um, me and my friends are incessant with it. Um, so I know a thing or two um, about like scrolling and things. So I'll just go through the basics and then we can like tailor it to the coaching, um, your coaching content. So um what is it um tiktok is an app it's a video sharing social network um and it's available in over 140 countries with 800 million users each month so there's a huge audience already out there on tiktok um and there's loads of coaches from life and well-being to sports and health um but that's obviously not limited to those sectors there's so much out there already for whatever kind of niche that you cater to. Um, so how do you use it? Um, I thought I'd just run through kind of the journey from getting started to start um, to making your own videos. So when you open the app, you'll get a page that comes up where you choose your interests. And that's how TikTok starts to tailor um, the videos to your uh, We'll go into it later, but your for you page. So you start to look at your interests. That can be anything from what you're trying to put out there yourself. So you might choose like art or dancing, or if that's your kind of thing that you like. Animals, there's a lot of stuff out there on animals. Um, so yeah, you can start to sort of select the topics that you um, that you like, um, just to start seeing those videos come through. Um, and so once you actually get into the app, you'll get this infinite kind of scrolling uh, video um, where you just kind of, it's uh, TikTok videos can be between like 15 seconds to three minutes. So um, once you start watching them, they can kind of vary. Um, and the good thing about your For You page is that once you start looking at the content that um, you like, it will start to learn what you like. And then that will keep you scrolling. So that can be a bit of a uh, a bit of a whirlpool with all like all the content that's out there. So you know you don't you probably don't want to get too stuck on that. But um, I'll just show you as well how to interact with these videos. So um, once you start seeing these videos come through, you can interact using the buttons on the sidebar. So you've got the like button, which is the love heart. Um, I can show you here. And then the commenting. So that's with the speech bubble and the three dots. Um, and then the arrow is how you share with other people. So that's what makes it a social network, I suppose, because you start to get these contacts. So you'll start following people and then you can share to them or you can like and you can interact in the comments. And that's another good way of starting to build your own community on there. Um, so then we have the discovery page. So this is where you can search for hashtags directly if you're looking for content specific to coaches. Um, so for example, you might want to search for hashtags such as life coaching, coach and life journey. Um, and the thing about TikTok is that 
um, for you, for your videos to be able to reach an audience, you have to interact with other videos that are already on the platform. So this is a good way of, um, if you kind of look at your discovery and you look at your For You page and you start interacting in that way, um, you your videos could potentially be put on the For You page and the discovery page. And the benefit to that is that you'll start getting loads of viewers on coming to your your profile and your content. Um, so it's a major like growth opportunity if you're just putting yourself out there and trying to get your message across. Um, and then we have the profile page. So this is where you can insert your headshot, you can link to your other socials um, and link to your services. So this profile here, this person has obviously been on TikTok for a while because they've got um, a lot of video content on their, um, their profile. And so what they've done is they've customized their content into reels. So as you can see here, that says my methodology. So once you do start making proper videos, you can categorize it um, on your profile. So it gives the uh, user a clear kind of guide into what services you have, how you, how you operate um, on TikTok, I suppose. So you kind of learn that as you go, but this is kind of an effective way of gaining that kind of audience traction to you. Um, and how do I find people? So obviously TikTok is a community uh, primarily. So you do want to make sure you're following other coaches or if it's, if it's something that interests you, following other coaches, interacting and reaching out. Um, and you can navigate what's popular on your topic of interest. So if you have a particular niche that you think, oh, okay, I can make video content on this, you can kind of search what's already out there. So that can give you some inspiration to get started. Um, and you can kind of see the content that your target audience enjoys. So I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but um, obviously TikTok has a huge young audience, young demographic um, with over 50% under the age of 34. So you can, depending on where your target demographic is, you can like look at what they're seeing and kind of incorporate that into your own videos. So that way you're being authentic, but you're also appealing to a certain audience. Um, and now you might be wondering, do you even want it? Is it something that you that you can see yourself on? So I thought I'd kind of go through the benefits coaches. Um, obviously, TikTok has, as I said, a huge market for that age group. Um, but also as a coach yourself, you know the value of being inclusive and being accessible. And I think TikTok has that same spirit on the app so it's not necessarily a place to compete with others it's more there's there's a space for everyone on there basically um and it's supportive so as i said with the kind of liking down the side of the videos you you kind of create your own community by interacting in that way um and liking commenting and tagging is also just a good way of kind of making those connections so that they're they're looking at your content you're looking at theirs and it might be a good way to kind of learn from each other in that way um and you can add to the ongoing conversation so if there's something already out there you'd be like okay i want to add my spin to it um and a, as well as that it's a source of creative inspiration um and it's easy to do so uh i'm not sure if any of you saw my video um that i created uh was kind of very simply simple to do kind of you get these like filters and you, it's basically a way that you can just customize it yourself like once you've made your video you can edit it so I kind of showed you a little bit of how to do that but um it can be really simple it doesn't have to be um like a sketch or something it can be just you introducing yourself it could be 15 seconds or if there's a message that you want to get out there it could be a minute it's it's kind of up to you, essentially. Um, so with TikTok videos, you can draw inspiration from your text-based content that's done well on your platform elsewhere. Um, uh, you can cross-promote on your social media channels. So the good thing about TikTok is that it's really easy to share your videos on different social platforms. Um, so that could be something that you'd be interested in doing. 
Um, and you can repurpose your content for Instagram Reels as well. Um, I'll show you kind of an example of someone that did that later on. But um, if you kind of decide for yourself, OK, I don't really want to get into this app specifically, you can kind of do the same thing with Instagram Reels. It's like that kind of video short form content you can create. Um, and you can add value to individuals who have had little exposure to coaching themselves. So you might find that there's an untapped market or potential that you bring um, to people that have actually don't have no idea what coaching is, or you can bring it back to the basics and maybe start getting traction in that way. Um, and you can provide resources to a large audience. So if there's something that you feel like could benefit a lot of people, why not put it on TikTok? get that audience and then people will start thinking about your message if they've taken value from what you're saying. Um, okay, so here's um, some content ideas for you, um, specific to coach. Well, there's some things that does work on the TikTok platform, but then we'll go into what is good for specifically for coaches. Um, so what works usually is um, visuals. So you can experiment with filters, uh, you can add like little icons, little stickers, um, and yeah, that works really well because it's a good way to catch the eye of the audience. Um, you can engage with trends. So I think right now there might be a coaching challenge out there. So if you, if you search like hashtag coaching challenges or um, coaching trends, perhaps, um, you can find maybe like a quirky dance or, depending on like what you're comfortable with um you can kind of add to a trend or you can make it your own um there's hashtags so when you make your video it's a good way to um get more of an audience if you add loads of hashtags that are specific to your video so like life coaching or something that you represent you can add as a hashtag um you can add music you don't necessarily have to but um that's a good option of also, you know, getting the audience to like listen in um, and enjoy it. Um, and you can use humor as well and fun. And that's a good way to just get your personality out there. Like TikTok videos don't have to necessarily be um, a certain way. You don't have to follow rules. So if you just want to be yourself, be a bit quirky, you know, maybe you've got something you want to show. Um, it all kind of works on TikTok. You'll find that someone out there will be like, oh, OK, I like this or They'll just it will keep them watching basically um and it takes the pressure off you a little bit in that sense um so ideas for your own coaching um i found a blog post from the icf that I recommended um for your own coaching tiktok videos um they recommend to be engaging so create bold captions with direct questions um so for example here we have like the the like kind of text at the top you can kind of add your own own like colored box around it um and you could use questions like what does coaching mean to you or what is coaching um and maybe be informative so what do you wish more people knew about coaching it can be simple it can be complex i suppose it's kind of something that you think for yourself oh, okay not many people know this um and you know by putting it out there you can see what how that does in terms of like if someone learns from something that you said or that can just be a good like um good kind of guide to get started um or you can kind of just add your own spin so here we've got a kind of this lady is obviously like very kind of animated and quirky and she's kind of um being very fun um and you know it's clear like the kind of tone that it creates. Um, so you can add your own spin, own spin by um, joining a trend or maybe making one that caters to your niche. Um, and you can navigate hashtags for content ideas. So there's some out there right now that are like hashtag coaches be like, and it's kind of like poking fun at what people may think coaches are like. Um, it's kind of way of taking the mick out of yourself, I suppose. Um, hashtag coaches don't play and hashtag learn on TikTok is another hashtag that's going around right now. And I think with coaches that would be beneficial because you're constantly learning and teaching. Um, and 
it's if you add your own spin you can show your personality with it so you can just get creative you can put music in um filters create your own sketch kind of like i did in the community um video so yeah it's, it's kind of up to you in that sense uh so i've got a video here for inspiration so this comes from the happy coach um who's obviously just marketing their services here so i'll just play you this video So that's just a quick like way of like experimenting with the music and the dancing, um, but also putting your message out there. Um, and then I'll just play that again. <laughs> um, well, we have Instagram reels. So as I was saying here, we have Karen Weber from Goodness Marketing, who was on the Masterclass session a couple of weeks back. Um, she likes using Instagram reels for short video marketing. And um, here she's experimenting with this like bee filter. She likes bees, you know, it's, it's a way of kind of showing yourself um, authentically. Uh, so we can... <laughs> this how... So I thought I'd kind of end the presentation with a question for you. Um, if you feel like TikTok could be something that you'd want to experiment with, um, I would kind of leave you on this question of what coaching question could you ask your clients in a short video, um, 15 seconds long or one to three minutes long on TikTok? So yeah, um, thank you for listening. And I guess we'll go on to the questions. We really hope that that conversation has got the ideas flowing and has given you some inspiration to give TikTok a go for yourself. Following on from this presentation, we stayed on within the community to have a 45 minute Q&A session where we helped our members get going with TikTok, answer their questions and give them some further tips and tricks. If you'd like to be part of the next conversation, then join our community. We host regular events within our community. We host weekly tips and tricks sessions, as well as reflection and confidence sessions every week that is included in your membership. We also host Monday masterclasses, which we stream live over on our Crowdcast page, and we host ad hoc training sessions, just like the one you've just watched. You can learn more and join over at betterbolderbraver.com.